Okay, Algebra 8, we are working with the distance formula today. So the distance formula is this really neat um, formula and it actually plays off the Pythagorean theorem. So when you look at a coordinate grid, the distance between two points can actually kind of be found by using the Pythagorean theorem. You can count how many units are on each side kind of they form with this right triangle and that way you can find the distance. Now what people have done is created a formula so they didn't have to draw a triangle every time you had two points that you needed to find the distance to especially when these points get further apart in larger numbers. We're not always going to have that coordinate grid to play with. So this kind of shows how the distance formula is found. Um, by subtracting the distance between the x coordinates 5 minus 1 it gives you um, the side length of A. And then by doing the same thing, 8 minus 3, the distance between the Y coordinates, it gives you the other side length. So what they've found is that they can create a formula using those coordinates. So it's actually just typing, you know, using a calculator, typing in the information, and, and solving. And as long as you follow the equation that is given, it is actually pretty simple. A couple little tidbits that I do every single time, and the first one is that I label. So we are gonna have x sub one, y sub one, x sub two, y sub two. Now these ones and twos do not mean anything, you're not squaring anything, it just means that this is the first set of x and y's, and this is the second set. And that's exactly what it means here. So I'm going to write our distance formula out, and it's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now it doesn't matter what set of order pairs you call your ones and which one you call your twos, but they can't intermix, so you can't have x1 and then y2, it doesn't work. So now we're gonna go to our ordered pairs. And my x2 is five. My x1 is two. And then you go to your y2 is nine. And my y1 is seven. So I'm gonna keep doing, we've been practicing with our, squ our square rooting, so it's not a problem. 5 minus 2 is 3, 9 minus 7 is 2, so 2 squared is not, or 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, so this is going to be the square root, 9 plus 4 is 13. So sometimes uh, they will want the actual or sometimes they'll just want the radical. So we're gonna get the actual. So I'm gonna square root 13, and I get 3.6. Okay. Our next one. Same thing, just different coordinates. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And I don't care if you rewrite the formula every time, just follow it. So x2 is 8, x1 is 5. y2 is 8. Oh, shoot. Oh, y, sorry. y2 is 1. See, it's easy to get confused. Okay. 8 minus 5 is 3. And I like to keep that in parentheses even though it's positive because now we're going to have a negative. 1 minus 6 is a negative 5. Now you're never going to have negatives underneath this because squaring it takes care of that. So 3 squared is 9 and negative 5 squared. Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. 9 plus 25 is 34. Uh, 
and the square root of 34 is 5.8. And we're always we're going to round to the tenths on these. So the distance between those two points is 5.8 units. Do one more here. Again, label your x and y's. So x1, y1, x2, y2. x2 is 6. x1 is negative 2. y2 is 8. And y1 is 6. Okay, so one thing that's going to happen here is when you subtract a negative, it actually turns into adding. So this is 6 plus 2, which is 8. And then this is 8 minus 6, which is 2. 8 squared is 64. 2 squared is just 4. So this is the square root of 68. And then if we square root to 68, you get 8 point two and if we were going to label this we would call it units okay so what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you guys do the last three on your own I need you to practice that formula okay you don't need to watch me keep doing it over and over and over again so I want you to practice those last three and we're going to check them in class to see if you guys have the right answer 